So let's see, let's pull a numerology card first and see if there's an energy vibration that will be connecting to you also here in the month of March for you Capricorns. Whoops, all those cards want to pop out. So let me see here. It's funny, I'm not going to take this card because there was a bunch, but this is one of the cards that fell out, 77 Spirituality. And it's interesting, I'm going to pull another card, but um, it... Um, is the connection to connecting to the spiritual side, the number seven, right? So that's a message right there, uh, another message to connect. Uh, and of course, if you need some assistance and guidance to understand those messages, please uh, connect with me and I would be ever so happy to help. Oh my gosh, no kidding. No kidding, I picked this again. Okay, so there you go, your angels and guides. The universe is saying, it's time to connect to your own spirituality, the number 77. It's an important time, and that's why I was feeling this, chills. Wow, this is an I've got to read this right now so you can understand how important it is this month. I was just really feeling this energy. And, you know, the dark purple is the connection to your, your insight, your visions, your third eye. And I feel it's, you know, opening up your dreams, your visions, it's your signs and symbols, connection, learning about your spirituality. It's beautiful. So let's see here. This card indicates a need to enhance your connection to the divine to improve your relationship with yourself as well as your quality of life. You're not a human being having a, a spiritual experience. You're a spiritual being having a human experience. And your relationship with Source is your path to inner peace. Yes, your relationship with Source is your pathway to inner peace. And that's why you have Jupiter in your 12th house to help assist you and guide you to that inner peace. So, uh, and your relationship with Source is your path to your inner peace. When you find your way into God, you find your way back home. And I feel that's a lot of what you're doing this year with Jupiter going to be there in your 12th house until um, December, I believe. But it's in Sagittarius, so that is about teaching and wisdom and receiving spiritual insight from the universe, from the divine. And I feel your 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 spiritual essence. You're really opening up and, and really feeling that vibration, those chills, that those connections uh, that you can relate to and understand that there is presence all around you. So uh, yes, let me finish reading. I'm so excited about this. So let's see here. By selecting this card, you're being encouraged to celebrate and strengthen your relationship with the divine in whichever way you choose. You may opt for prayer, meditation, chanting, yoga, or periods of silence and contemplation, perhaps quiet time in nature going on a retreat, or attending a place of worship is something you prefer. It doesn't matter which option you choose, for there is no right or wrong. Only you can know your ultimate path to God. In order to improve your current situation here, Capricorn, you are being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life, cycles that are encouraging you to strengthen your relationship with the divine. You're also being encouraged to communicate with your lost loved ones, spirit guides and angels and ask for assistance when required no request goes unanswered and no request is too big or small and that's why it's just this amazing connection your angels and guides it says it right here they're wanting to talk to you they're wanting to give you assistance and uh, whenever you're ready they'll be there for you so your affirmation this month capricorn my relationship with the divine is my path to inner peace blessings so connect to the 77 number. I'm sure you will see that number coming very strongly in the month of March for you to remember to connect that your angels are around you, to pay attention to the signs and symbols, uh, to ask for assistance, to give assistance, to help others in need, right? So that's what the Jupiter in the 12th house is also saying is the more that you give, the more that you will receive, right? So it is definitely a place in the 12th house to give others some type of help and assistance. Uh, and those are just helping others can give you the blessing that you need to really feel happy and connected to the universe, to the divine, to your spirituality. So I'm going to pull a karmic card and overall energy that may be affecting you. Obviously, we see the spiritual side it will be definitely with you, upon you. 
And let's see what cards you get. The Six of Roses. The War of Roses. So, yes, this is the war against your spiritual and physical side, right? And trying to come together. Uh, and it may feel like war to really separate on uh, your thought. But Capricorn, you're very structured in your thinking, very structured in uh, your beliefs. And that's why I feel there's so much happening uh, in your first house this this year. And it's been uh, Saturn, who you're ruled by, has been in your first house for, house for the last year or so and will be there for another year, I believe. So there's a lot of restructuring going on with you Capricorns. And you're connecting more and need to connect more to your spirituality. So there, you may be feeling like the War of the Roses in your mind right now because Saturn is really trying to change something for you and, and wanting you to be more realistic, more open. Uh, and Pluto is there also to really transform, get to the heart of the matter. Why is there the War of the Roses within you? Is there something happening around you uh, that you need to change to restructure? Uh, and if there is, if you're feeling like that, then again, connect to that spiritual connection at the number 77 and really feel the energy vibration of Jupiter in your 12th house. So let's read about uh, the War of the Roses here, right? Let me see, where did I put um, that car? Oh, there we go. Okay. So the War of Roses here. The War of Roses. Number six, Six of Roses. Let's see if I can find this real easy. Sorry about that. It's going to take me a few moments. Okay, here we go. Six of Roses. Storm clouds gather in the sky. Two lines of mounted knights stand at the ready, facing each other across a clear field of battle. The left side carries the banner of the white rose, the right carries the red rose. This card deposits a war within a relationship or a battle within your heart about a relationship. Most often this relationship is romantic in nature, but this card could also refer to a co-worker, partner, boss, or a family member. There could be powerful plays, power plays, and at the very least there is a lack of reciprocity, is that what it's called? Reciprocity and communication. Recepti I want to say receptivity, but it's reciprocity. Hopefully I, I pronounced that right. So um, you are at an impasse. Your intuition or your... I don't have my glasses on either, so sorry, I'm trying to read uh, without them. Your intuition or your spirit, the white rose, has told you that the experience is not a supportive one. But your passions, fears, and needs, the red rose, keep you from listening. You have tried to bring the two together, indicated by the dirty flag with this combined white and red rose on the ground. But what's happening in this relationship is not compatible with your spirit's view for you. So there you stand, your spirit and your passions just wait, watching and waiting. This situation is nothing less than karmic, and it is time to listen and take action. Awareness, vision, and self-honoring are required now for you to position yourself best and make plans to leave the battlefield. So yes, there may be some things that you're really, like I said, I think there's a lot of things that you are restructuring and changing in your life there, Capricorn. And it is about really tapping into what you need to fulfill your own happiness and joy. And if there is some type of situation that you feel like you're in a battlefield, it's always best to connect to your angels and guides to the, the mystical side, the 12th house, to be able to uh, find the answers. And of course, if you're feeling like this, please connect with me and I would love to give you some guidance. So let's go into the first part of your reading. We'll look at anything that may be unexpected that may happen to you this month, Capricorn, because uh, we do have Uranus and Mars. Uh, it's going to be in Taurus and it will be in your fifth house for this month here. Uh, Uranus will be there for quite a few years after that, but Mars will be there 
uh, for the month of March. And so we have Mars and Uranus, two explosive energies uh, coming together in Taurus in the fifth house of love, romance, pleasure, children, your creativity. So there may be some type of change, some type of explosive change to some type of relationship, a child, a partnership. So that could be what the Six of Roses is coming uh showing you is be prepared that there may be something happening in that fifth house and it may be something that you're going to have to prepare for prepare for battle something of that sort but it has something to do with you know fighting amongst the children or a relationship that is definitely something that you're having to think about to make some type of changes uh, before you go to war uh, and it could also be something about finding within yourself about your own creativity and trying to make some changes, really connecting more to your own true truth and essence of yourself. So let's see anything interrupting this month, unexpected happening for you, Capricorns. So let's see here, Capricorn. The seven of fire. So this is all about fighting, fighting for your honor. Don't give up. Don't let others step on you. And that's what I feel is, yeah, this is like you're you're getting ready for war. Look at no kidding. I'm gonna look at this here. You see the horses here, and the fire is like you're ready for that. It's like, do I go to battle? Do I? You know, what do I do now? To connect to the number seventy-seven for those answers. Uh, because it could be quite explosive with the seven of fire fires action it's the connection to mars aggression war mars is war right yeah so just understand that i feel if there's anything tension um it's important to seek oneness with god oneness with the divine with jupiter in your 12th house so let's uh pull another card there here capricorn and uh see this interruption but i really feel it's like you got to stand your ground and you know be ready if there's something that you have to fight for your own honor here it's going to be stressful i feel in the month of march for anything unexpected but i do feel again this is some some type of test some type of challenge to uh, allow you some changes that are needed maybe it's changes in how you are raising your children maybe it's changes on how you connect to love maybe it's changes on how you want to be more creative and and really connect to more of your desires but march looks like there's something that you're gonna have to really stand your ground and really believe in yourself and if you feel like you're you know on that point of war it's time to go into the 12th house of jupiter to receive some type of insight and guidance or of course uh, connect to someone like me to give you some help and guidance uh the ten of air so in jupiter in the 12th house the ten of air is the ten of swords it means that there's a lot going on that you need to release that you really need to give uh to the universe for help and assistance so i do feel this is a month that you really have to sequence with God and that's why I feel there was so much connection to the energy of the universe with you Capricorns so it may be stressful it may be something that you're gonna have to there may be some type of ending some type in the 12th house is a karmic house the ending house right so there may be an ending in any term relationship but it looks like an ending to whatever Whatever the war is going to be, it's like you're going to end it before it happens. That's what I feel is going to be happening because you have Jupiter in your child self blessing you. Like Jupiter is going to make sure there isn't a war, right? So let's see here. Let's pick one more card here. Yeah, blessings. So, you know, I do feel there may be for some of you this, this tug of war and love. And so it's really about really going within and making some changes again and connecting to your spiritual vibration to understand what you need to do in love. But this also could be an ending, a change to finally connect to love. Uh, because also Jupiter in the 12th house could be bringing you a very spiritual, a very karmic connection to love. So I do feel it's like Jupiter is preparing you for a, a very spiritual love uh, that may come. And if you're in a relationship that you know is combative, I feel this is the month that, that you're going to see signs and symbols of what to do about that. So you don't have to go into the War of Roses. So let's look into love because Venus is in the second house for you in Aquarius. And so it is about, you know, finding a way 
I feel like you've been waiting patiently, waiting patiently to make a decision about what you want to do about a relationship. And it may have something to do with your resources. Also, um, the king of earth. So you are the king of earth, Capricorn. So I really feel it's about you uh, figuring out, well, the king of earth is also about the connection to the second house. It is about your money. Uh, your prosperity, how you grow your resources. So uh, I do feel part of this connection with the King of Earth being in the second house here. And connection to love or ending a relationship. I feel there may be some type of a war against maybe some type of, you know, alimony or child support. Or maybe that's what I'm seeing here is you're going to have to fight for uh, your honor. Fight for what you want because it looks like you as the King of Earth Capricorn may have a lot of... Um, you know, money or a lot that may, you may lose because of this, you know, because of this war, you may lose the war, right? So I feel with the King of Earth, you're trying to find stability or you're trying to figure out a way um, to make peace. And this also could be this connection with a, a big change maybe coming to, towards you uh, in your resources for the good or bad, you know, um, but I feel with the King of Earth for you, Capricorn, is really focusing on what you need to, to do in regard to your resources and focus on what you can do to prevent any type of war in regards to your resources. So something financial, something about your, your uh, money, maybe connected to a situation, a divorce, a relationship. Um, it also could be that you're trying to figure out new ways to grow your resources. Maybe through, it's through your own creative ideas and you're trying and you're connecting so much with Jupiter. It's like Jupiter is blessing you right in the 12th house, giving you some type of insight and guidance and idea so that you can make money on it. And maybe that's what it is, Capricorn. Maybe you're getting some really crazy ideas and insights and, you know, it's like, where did that come from? But, you know, the crazier the better, right? Because, you know, Aquarius is in the second house right now, Venus. So it's about thinking out of the box, about ways to make money. And I feel a lot of you Capricorns, uh, you are definitely one who is focused, who can, you know, complete any task. And uh, I do feel you're just to have this really amazing uh, ability to uh, make anything out of nothing, really. Uh, because I just, you know, Capricorns, you know, I, I know a lot of Capricorns. I have a lot of Capricorns in my family and they're very um, focused and they're very determined and they do very well. Um, so let's see communication. So here we go. I feel there's this month, there's going to be a lot of communication regarding resources this month. So I feel that's going to be the biggest understanding is just prepare. There's something about communication, resources, having to take care of things. You may have to fight for your honor, working out maybe some situations that uh, you may have to split, split your finances, your income. But let's see, I'm going to pull another card here. Um, with Venus, Ace of Water. So I'm glad I pulled another one because this also is this connection to love, right? With Venus being your second house, I do feel, you know, there's this connection to love, a new beginning in love or, or a new beginning to be able to create a new way to grow your resources through your own creativity. Maybe this is something very artistic, very creative, very coming from above, you know, um, that I do feel you... I feel, yes, you're just receiving a lot of ace of water is your insight, your intuition coming through to you, your psychic vibration, right? And here you've got the king of earth and the ace of water and communication. So I feel, again, communication from your angels and guides showing you something, trying to help you create, to grow. Um, and it also could be this wonderful connection to communication. Um, the king of verse with the ace of water. This may be a strong connection to another earth energy or a water energy for you here. 